Hello and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today we are looking at a Ming Aurelia cultivar Fabian. And Ming Aurelias are susceptible to what is known as edema in uh, plant leaves. So you will see here the leaf that we are looking at has some brown bumps on it on the underside of the leaves. And you'll see that there's some leaves around it that don't look like that, that look cleaner and more healthy. So what you're looking at is edema. And edema is a condition where a plant is taking up water faster than it can transpire, which will cause leaf cells to actually rupture. And when they rupture, they brown like what you're seeing here. So if you've found this sort of thing on some of your plants, and, and all plants can, can, this can happen to, uh, however, this Ming Aurelia Fabian is more susceptible. So there are certain plants that are more susceptible. So what you get there is it's kind of a bumpy look. It's like they've gotten chicken pox or something, and, they, um, and you wonder, where the heck did this come from? It can mimic scale. So scale will be little brown or gray bumps on the underside of leaves. Uh, however, you can t tell the difference when you go and you put your finger over it and if you can remove the bump and leaving the leaf tissue intact, that is scale. However, if you can't remove the bump without pulling off part of the leaf itself, and causing kind of like a hole in the leaf, then that is edema. The good news about edema is it's not a pest like scale. So it's not going to continue to uh, cause a problem for you in terms of spreading. You can, however, if you don't correct conditions, which are watering conditions, have more edema. So you, wanna, you, want, you do wanna keep it under control the um, going back to what happens here so when the plant gets too much water as mentioned the it can't process the water it quickly enough through its roots and what happens is the leaves will transpire and when the leaves transpire that they, they, the leaves have stomata in them and there's more stomata on the underside of the leaves. And that is actually their sweat glands. Like we have sweat glands and we perspire, leaves have stomata and they transpire. And the excess moisture will come out of that stomata, but when there's too much for the plant to process, it will cause those cells to actually fill up and then burst and then you get the browning on the leaf. So that's what happens here. So bottom line is you don't wanna overwater the plant, number one. When you overwater plants, as I mentioned in my root rot series, you also uh, have them um, be susceptible to root rot. So for obvious reasons, you don't wanna water for that. There are plants, however, like the Ming Aurelia that do like to drink a lot of water so they will dry out quickly. So you think, oh my gosh, I need to go and water a bunch because it's so dry. So you wanna watch not watering so much. The Ming Aurelia and other plants will be able to go a while, a little dry before you water them. So, However, you don't want them to get too dry because then what happens is the plant's cycling up water very quickly because it's been so dry and then you will have the edema. So the bottom line is, is to avoid the edema, what you want to do is you want to water when the plant needs watering. So you don't want to wait for drought conditions and you don't want to overwater. So you want to have a nice even cycle of watering going on. So keep a good eye on the plants that you've seen that have a propensity to have edema and make sure to water them when they are approaching dryness and approaching dryness is generally four on the moisture meter heading towards three, which is dry. The first inch or so of, of soil will be dry. If it's a little teeny plant, the first half inch of soil will be dry or even the first quarter of inch of soil. So you need to, it depends on the size of the pot itself, okay? Also remember 
to always water with warm water and uh, rather than cold water, which can cause uh, root dieback. And I have a, another video on that and mention that as well. So the regular watering, not necessarily keeping them on a schedule, but watering them when they actually need it and not wa waiting too long in between watering will help you avoid edema. It can look very bumpy, uh, kind of like the plant was uh, 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 put, put into a, some sort of a, uh, a vice thing that makes it look all bumpy or something like that. Or they, they, so it's, it's, a, it's definitely a strange patterning on the leaves that you'll see and, and that, will, that, that will be an indicator of edema. The, so that is it for that. So how to avoid it. Oh, and you can prune off the, the leaves that have the edema. Whenever you do prune from a plant, don't prune more than one third of the plant at a time or you can put it into shock. And, uh, and keep in mind too, that when you remove these leaves, you're gonna have bare spots on the plant. So you may wanna remove a few and then let the uh, bare spots fill in and then remove a few more, all the while making sure to water, water properly as well. Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.